Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My P.I. Dream. Today, I have an exciting episode for you. We're going to go into places that no man or woman has ever gone before. Well, at least here at Villa Feliz. Uh, I have a very exciting uh, item that I ordered on Lazada that I can't wait to try out. It's kind of a, a myth buster kind of a thing. Does it work or does it not work? And I want to share that with you today. As you can see, I'm back here in the raised bed garden, uh, which is not the uh, content of today's episode. And I'm uh, doing some reorganizing, moving all of my all of my ginger plants into one location on the other side of the room. We are getting into a new and improved raised bed garden back here, but that's for another day. Well, let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Now, without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Alright, although today's episode is not about gardening, I just want to briefly bring up something this morning. And I want to show you this plant right here. Do you remember when we went down to Edgar's, Edgar's Plant Nursery in Rosario? And Edgar cut off a piece of one of his plants that he was growing that he wouldn't sell to me. <laughs> as bad as I tried to convince him, he needed to sell me this wonderful, beautiful looking plant. He said he's using it for the mother plant and he'll use it to propagate other plants. But anyway, he gave me a little clipping and he told me a specific way. I don't know if you remember the episode or even if I brought it up in the episode, I think I did, about propagating a plant in a very unique method. And I'm gonna talk about it here in just a second. Now here's a beautiful plant I got from Edgar two weeks ago. You see this right here. And you can see the beautiful, the beautiful flower on the end. Now this plant right here, he wouldn't he wouldn't sell me the entire plant. So what he did, he cut off just a section. Uh, and I, I have an example right here. This is a uh, cashew. This is just a trimmed off piece from a cashew tree. We're gonna do a little example to show you how we did this. And what Edgar said, he told me that if you take a piece of aloe, and I have a lot of aloe in the backyard, one of our subscribers uh, gave me an aloe tree, or an aloe plant, and I've been using it for a little bit of medicinal purposes, and I've been using it lately for something that Edgar taught me. Now you see this gel inside here? This is like an antiseptic. It's, uh, it does a lot of things. It helps you with sunburns. You can rub it on your skin, put the gel on there. You can actually make juice out of certain kind of aloe vera plants as well. So what, so what Edgar explained to me, to get this little clipping off of his mother plant, of course, this is the bark. This is not the green portion. This was a part of the bark. And it will be a darker color just like the trunk of a tree. And then we, he, when he cut it, there was a lot of sap, a white sap that came out the end. And he told me, wait for three days, wait for three days, let that harden. Then after three days, you take the end of your piece, your clipping that you have, and you insert it inside the aloe, the aloe plant, just like this right here. Then what you'll do, you'll take this and you'll just put it inside a, uh, a pot or a bag like this uh, with your planting medium, your topsoil or whatever you use that you find you're successful with. I just let it sit like that. He said, it will come back. And I'm like, Edgar, there's no way. Uh, I've never seen this before. Well, just because I haven't seen it before doesn't mean it's going to work. And you see, it came back beautifully. Everything had dropped off, the leaves dropped off, the flowers, dropped off and now we have a new plant growing right here so we'll keep an eye on this well well hopefully this will become a beautiful plant and we'll make some more clippings out of that okay hopefully that was interesting to you now let's get into what we are actually supposed to be talking about in today's episode and let's go down in the basement it's a little bit more quiet down there with all the construction going on down at Ainsley's build site let's go down there let's open up the package see what's inside and talk about what our next challenge is going to be 
All right, well, here are the two packages right here. These are the two packages that came in between yesterday and today. This package, we're gonna put aside. We're gonna set this over to the side because that's for another project. That is for the landscape lighting project. I still need some more parts. Now, this package right here, this is what came in today, and this is what I am really excited about. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, I'm I'm a sucker for these, these ads I always see, you know, like on, on Facebook sometimes they pop up. Uh, some commercials on YouTube and if something uh, catches my eye uh, I look into it I'll click on the link and I'll go and take a look and see is this really the way they advertise it so what I have here this is a bottle cutting uh, this is a bottle cutting tool have you ever seen where people have lights and they're made out of like wine bottles or they have cups that are made out of like beer, beer bottles that were converted over into uh, glasses, use, usable glasses. Well, I've always wanted to try my hand at this technique. Uh, so the other day, something popped up. I saw an advertisement somewhere, and I, I did some research on this product. And this is what's inside this bag. This is a bottle cutting tool. Uh, Assembly required, uh, so we'll we'll follow. The, actually, there's some instructions inside here, and uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. But basically, you have something that you would put your bottle on. You'll be able to spin it. You'll be able to score score the bottle, and then there's a process for separating the different areas that you scored so that you have a nice clean cut. Uh, let's go ahead. I will read the instructions. Uh, they, oh, it even comes with some sandpaper for cleaning up the edges. And let's go ahead. Let's see how difficult this is and if it actually works. All right, so I will tell you, I will give you a recommendation. Whenever you get anything that is assembly required and you order it from anywhere over here in the Philippines, whether it be Lazada or any of the other online services that you can buy products from, I always recommend you go inside and you inspect everything before you try putting something together. Uh, because occasionally you don't get a part, a part is missing, or there's a broken part, or it's not what you expected. Now here, everything seems to be inside the package. I did a check against the parts that come with this system, but I don't know if you can see from there, but there is, you see this, there's a crack. There's a big crack inside this board. So it tells me that they have poor quality control uh, for the people who are putting the uh, these things together. Uh, they put it inside there and they'll probably say, ah, oh, they're not going to worry about this crack inside here. But this crack right here will eventually lead into a failure of this portion of the, uh, the cutter. Now, what does it take to send it back? Well, it's really not a Mm, it's, it's, it takes more to send it back, I will tell you that. I know the last time I tried to send something back through Lazada, uh, they said I had to take it up to Calamba, Laguna, uh, which, which would have cost me more than the price of the, of the item itself just for me to drive there in gas and time. Uh, so that's, that's a problem. It's not like Amazon.com if you order on Amazon. Uh, Amazon, anywhere around the world that has Amazon, the return is very easy. They'll even come to your house and pick it up at your house. Well, anyway, uh, this is a minor thing. Uh, we'll, if it breaks, we'll try to maybe glue it back together later on. So let's go ahead and use the instructions and let's do the assembly. Okay, all assembled. Uh, very simple uh, assembly. And pretty much you follow this, this little diagram that they have right here. It's no real words for the assembly. On the back it talks to you about scoring, a little bit about doing the actual process. Uh, the material, uh, kind of cheap, kind of cheap, but uh, if it works. Now I've seen uh, some really high quality uh, tools that you can purchase, uh, even on Lazada that are much higher than this, but the price was right for this and I'll show you at the very end. Uh, this is just a test to see, can you really do it with something as simple as this tool right here? Now. This, these little wing nuts, you see these two wing nuts right here, this will give you the ability, because this is the backstop, this is where your bottle is going to rest. Uh, so you can do some adjustments moving this in either direction for your scoring tool here, which is this little roller scoring blade right here. Uh, the instructions don't really say which direction that this goes on right here. I think this is right. I believe this is correct. 
the instructions here don't really say which direction. Uh, I tried it in both directions, and the other one seems like it blocked it where you couldn't get to the blade, so I think this is correct right here. So let's go ahead and put this to the test. Let's grab a wine bottle, let's score it, and see if we can separate it nice and clean. Okay, here's the bottle I'm going to use. I cleaned the label off. I removed all the stickiness from the label. The attempt is to cut this about halfway, so half of it can be used as a drinking glass. The other half can be used if we want to use it for, say, like a lighting fixture. Now, I've never done this before, so i got to tell you, this is all new to me. From what I understand, uh, there is a skill, there is an art to doing this. Uh, so we'll see. We'll do our best at our first attempt. Now, I adjusted this stop to move the back of it up because it was back here to begin with to move it up here to these, the etching blade right here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, well, I gotta tell you, this is going to be our first attempt. I've never done this before, so you are learning with me. We'll see if this inexpensive device can actually do the job. Now, originally, the stop was back here, which would have put the bottle cutter way up here, or the etcher way up here. Now, what I want to do on this wine bottle, I want to cut it about halfway. I want to use one for a drinking glass and possibly the other half if we want to modify it for maybe some type of a light where you would have it hanging down with the light fixture going inside here and using this as the housing. So let's go ahead and put it on the guide and we will spin it around trying to etch the, the glass. You cannot etch it but one time. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Now this did not cut very straight. You can see right here uh, the stop. I have different sections here. You can see this is not a perfect circle. So I know this is gonna, I'm not even going to waste my time. But I'm going to still use this one. What I'll do, I will adjust the backstop and we'll cut back a little bit further just to see if we can get an even cut on here. And we'll use, we'll use it for maybe just a, just a, uh, a drinking glass. We'll see if we can do that. All right, here's attempt number two. Let's see if we can get a nice clean scribe. Okay, I heard the pop. That looks a little bit better this time than the first time over here. Now, let's try to see if we can get it to separate. Now, the instructions say to put a a rubber band around each end of the scribed area. I don't have a rubber band and it should have come with the package. If it's a kit, it should come with all the things that you need, but it didn't. Uh, so what I did was I improvised. I think this will work. I have electrical tape and I put electrical tape on both sides. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to get some type of a container uh, and I'm going to get some hot water. We're going to pour hot water, bo almost boiling hot water on this spot. We're going to do a heating, a cooling, a heating, and a cooling two or three times before we try separating these two sections and see if they will come apart. Now this is not, I will tell you right now, I'm not too optimistic because it is my first time. Uh, and this isn't a perfect, this is not a perfect scribe, perfect circle radius scribe on here. But we'll try it. We'll see how it works. Okay, so what I have here, I have some water that I just boiled on the stove, stove top, and I have some ice water. Have some ice water here. So what we're going to do, we're going to pour, gently pour some of the boiling, uh, the very hot water over the scribed area. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come behind it with the ice water. We might have to do this several times, but this will do, this will weaken the glass at the point that we scribed and hopefully we will be able to uh, break it at that point nice and clean. All right, now we'll put some cold water on. All right, we'll do this again. Some ice water.
All right, so not the best, not the best test. We're gonna, I knew we would have to do this again. And practice take, makes perfect. So uh, this one did not come out exactly like I wanted it to. So we'll try another one. All right, so I gotta tell you, I am not impressed by this. I'm on my, this is my fourth, my fourth bottle. But I see a big flaw in this inexpensive type of a device using this, this little piece of plastic here. Uh, let me see if I can turn it around this way and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now I've changed this blade. I put the blade on the outside, I put the blade on the inside, and they both end up, it seems worse on the outside than on the inside. Let me show you. When you push down, and you start moving this thing around. I'm not going to push it down too hard because I don't want it to scribe right now, but you have to push it down enough to get it to scribe. What happens is when you put pressure on the scribing blade, what ends up happening, you see it's flexible. It starts moving out, and it gives you an uneven uh, orbit around the bottle. Uh, also, this is flexible back here. This moves. Whether you are on a hard surface, I tried it on just a granite, or on this to help with cushion so that it doesn't slide. This is, look at this, I want you to see this. Now you cannot get a perfectly good, uh, a perfectly good round shape is what you need. It has to be exact all the way around. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna try to be gentle, but the thing is if you don't have enough pressure against this blade right here, it does nothing to the, the glass. It does no scribing, it does no scratching, no etching. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time and then we'll conclude today's episode. Well, I don't like the feet very much, but I gotta tell you, I've burnt enough brain cells and enough hours today on this project right here. Uh, these are the two closest, closest uh, bottles that I was able to get, and none of them, none of them really cut clean. Uh, I, I've got to believe, it's my firm belief that this tool right here, well, it's, I have tried it on both sides, so you can't say, that it's on one side or the other that makes a difference. Uh, but I do know because of the flexibility inside uh, this piece of plexiglass that's inside here, it makes it very difficult to get a very accurate cut and a very deep etch on the bottle itself. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, to explore other options that have to do with bottle cutting because I really want to make this work, but I'm going to get a higher quality uh, bottle cutter and we'll try that on another episode. All right, so here it is the it, it's the end of the day I spent a lot of time on this project today, and I got to be upfront and honest with you I'd already closed out the video edited it was ready to upload and uh, I I gave I gave in to defeat on this project on this on this uh, device right here uh, and it's still not the greatest device But I was able to make it lo and behold. I was able to make it work uh, these, this is the results of my test uh, using this device, using the instructions that came with this device. And that has to do with pouring the cold and hot water, the fluctuation between the two. But I kept seeing a, a similarity on every single bottle. It just didn't seem like the crack was going through far enough, which to me indicated maybe I was not getting it hot enough. So. I, cho I chose to go on my own intuition and try something different. Sometimes you have to do that. So what I did, I went outside. <laughs> I, already put, I already put it up. I went outside and I used the torch. Now you have to be careful. You have to make sure you wear safety glasses if you try anything like this. I remember seeing something on YouTube somewhere where somebody had used the torch to heat up, to heat up the, uh, the glass, the, the bottle, the bottle. So I lightly used the torch on there, and I went back between uh, dipping it in some water back and forth. I heard a crack, and lo and behold, I finally got this. Is this that I was? A, I only used the bottle that still had all the labels on it, because I thought to myself, well, this probably isn't going to work. But it kind of did work. So you can see what I'm in the middle of doing right now. Now, if you were to rely on the one piece of sandpaper that comes in the kit. You'd never be able to do this. Luckily, I have a lot of sandpaper left over from the building project here at Villa Feliz. So what I'm doing now is, uh, I can't do it here, I have to go back on the workbench. But basically, you take, you take your glass and you get a nice flat surface on here once I get it all down and then we'll use uh, sandpaper on the outside to 
make sure that we have nice a nice uh, finish on there so that you don't cut. It'll be a nice rounded finish. So that's what I'm going to do now, and uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. It's been a long day, but we have success. We finally have to success after failure, uh, failure, uh, several failures, but we have success. And that old saying, that old saying, if at first you don't succeed, well, you know the rest of that story. Uh, persistence, persistence always pays in the long run. Uh, I, I thought I had been beat, but uh, I just wanted to give it one more time, one more chance, and yeah, it works. Uh, although I use a different technique than is in the instructions here, and on several of the instructions I saw. But you know, if you find a better way of doing something and it works for you, well heck, uh, go ahead and keep using it. Uh, the torch method worked for me here. I did everything out in the driveway uh, with goggles and uh, to safety, always safety first, because uh, we want to make sure we don't have any accidents. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun for me, but it was a long day. Uh, so anyway, we'll continue to do more of these DIY kind of things and test products that we pick up uh, on Lazada or whatever online service or downtown uh, anytime I get something new. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream Heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and notified next time I upload a new video. So until next time, from here in the Philippines, cheers, and you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well